Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time of day it is where you are right here, right now, this is the moment. This is the moment that spirit is living and breathing and having its being. This is the moment that infinite intelligence has woven itself in and through and as, and this is the moment that would be impossible without you. So thanks so much for being here and shining your light into this experience and into this expression. I am so grateful that you're here. So blessed. So blessed by your presence. This is a Wake Up Say Thank You. I am Reverend Steph Sainamon, Spiritual Director with One Love Awakening, Soul Community, and so much more. And this is where we gather together each and every weekday morning to affirm life's good, to awaken that awareness of life's good up in our lives and in the lives of one another. So I am so grateful that you're here. This is why we're here. This is what we're doing. And uh, I'm going on my social media right now and I'm just sharing the prayer, right? This is what we do. We share, we click on this and we share. And then we click on this group and we share. And then we click on this group and we share it. Oh, yeah. See, sharing is good. Sharing is good. Okay. So now that I have shared the prayer, let's get to it. Good morning, everybody. I see you popping in. I see that number raising up and I would love, I have one of these. So I would love to see a couple more of these, maybe even some hearts right? That we get to love up in this experience. We get to love each other up in this moment. And we get to unfold spirit as unique and unrepeatable expressions of divinity. Look at us go. Look at us go. If you're watching over on YouTube, and I know some of you are, uh, hit that thumbs up button and, uh, and let us be in that beautiful expression of algorithms and know a greater truth is getting out into the good. That wisdom is in the world. That creativity is in the world. That joy and peace and power and presence is getting out into the world. So we do this by Sharon. Sharon is, is Karen. Good morning, Wayne. Howdy, partner. How you doing, beloved? Hope you had a great weekend. James, good morning. See, Facebook and YouTube represented. We get to see all of you all. Good morning, Andy. Hello, beloved. Oh, so grateful that you are here, that you are in my life. What a joy it is to have you in my life. Oh, my goodness, each and every one of you. If you're watching for the first time, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for clicking on something that drew you here. And we're so grateful for that. Let us know you're watching, where you're watching from in the comments. And, uh, and let's circulate this love. Let's circulate this goodness that is out into the world. <sighs> so let's take a breath. Let's recognize today. Today is a brand new baby day. This is a brand new baby moment we haven't even experienced yet. And we get to allow the presence of our awareness to unfold before us in ever greater ways that we can experience life. So today, patience is my superpower. Patience is my superpower. Oh, 
can who can use a little more patience in your life anyone anyone needing a little more patience a little more understanding a little more breath oh my goodness patience is my superpower because i i live in cycles there are uh, phases cycles movements motion and everything is energy and so we just had the full moon um, at 2 a.m this morning in central time the full moon was its fullest and how patient are we if, if we if we just allow the flow of our experience the flow of our nature to move through us just like the phases of the moon just like the cycle that is happening in the moon our lives have this beautiful flow of energy of presence in our lives and no matter what we do ours is coming to us ours are good our power, our presence, our flow, it is ever giving of itself. We are in the nature of the divine. And so patience is my superpower because I have become aware of this truth. I have become aware that in my life, I move in cycles. I move in patterns. And so as my crests, right? We have the ebbs and the flows. We have the ins and the outs. We have the, the taking in and the letting go. This is all the divine circulation of expression of spirit in our lives. And each of us have our own pattern. Each of us have our own unique flow as unique and unrepeatable expressions of this wisdom, of this grace. And so patience is my superpower because I know that if I can muscle through the waiting, that painful expression of waiting for something to happen, we are not making anything happen. I am waiting for spirit to, to show itself in my life. And so patience is my superpower because I have discovered within my life cycle my rhythm, my flow my intake and my output is perfectly paced for me and i trust that it is in your life too there is a natural rhythm to your life if you if you take a look at your whole life and you see those moments where you were struggling where you were suffering where you were where you were stuck in the mud where you were enriching yourself in the fertilizer of an experience and then you watch what happens afterwards. How did you get out of that? I bet there's a time period. I bet there's a rhythm and a flow to what happened in your life. I bet there's a rhythm and a flow in what transcended through you, transpired through you and transformed through you. From the moment of realization that you were in fertilizer to the moment you received your good, your demonstration, was made known, tangible in your awareness. And in that place, if we can find comfort and become comfortable in that space, in that place, in the evolvement, as we involve spirit into the flow, into the expression of the nature of who we are, we are perfectly timed. We are perfectly ordained in right order, in harmony and peace and trusting that this too shall pass this too shall pass patience is our superpower because we know in this teaching we know that there is a power in the universe that is greater than we are and we get to use it we get to use it we get to harness it just like we harness electricity just like we discover gravity and understand how to use gravity we can use the power and presence of an infinite wisdom creativity and love we can use it in our lives so let's know ourselves denny what are you getting into babe she doesn't have patience yet denny chew on that there you go <laughs> Ah, so more of you are here. Hello, beloveds. I see you. Good morning, Modesta, California. Yes, Tucson, Arizona. We have tons of people in Tucson, Arizona. That is awesome. There's a Center for Spiritual Living in Tucson, Arizona, and there is a Unity uh, in Tucson, Arizona, and they are just lovely places to be. Lovely places to be. 
So let's have patience in our life today. Let's recognize that our backpack is full of patience, that it is our superpower, whatever it is, you know, I think of all these superheroes that had rings that allowed them to have power or belts that allowed them to have power or Wonder Woman had those beautiful gold cuffs, right? Ching! So we have a superpower within us that is invisible and miraculous and absolute magnificent. And so we get to have that in our lives today. No, we can't chew on that. Danny, no, you're not chewing on that. Go chew on something else, babe. <laughs> off that and she goes right back <laughs> she's going right back resilient tenacious right you gonna come up no no chewing on that <laughs> oh, okay let's be in our spiritual practice together let us shine a light on our path today and let us direct this day with absolute intentions. Patience is our superpower. We have more than enough patience to get through this day, get through all the things that we have to do today, and have patience for one another as we walk this path together. And know, and know that everyone is doing the best that they can. The sticky and the sweet, let's have patience for it all. Let's know it together now. Are you ready? Mm, circulating that breath. What a beautiful example of the in and the out, the ebbs and the flows right here in this breath. And so I center myself. I allow myself to be grounded in this moment, aware of the presence, aware of the presence in this moment, aware of the presence of the infinite intelligence that has woven itself in and through and as the very fabric and fiber of this day, this life, this beingness that I am. I am this power, this presence. I am love and joy and peace. I am poise and posture. I am everything I need to be for there is only one. One life, one power, one presence. One divine, infinite, intelligent mind that is expressing itself through and as and with and for everything, all things. There is no space, no place, no moment, no breath where the divine is not emanating its fullest expression and activating upon the very nature of its own being. And I am that. I am the nature of spirit and the enfoldment of divine wisdom and love. I am unconditional understanding and acceptance. I am patient with myself. I am patient with myself today. I am patient as I move through this day, living and breathing spirit. I am patient with myself as I engage in conversation with, with friends, with family, with strangers. I am engaged in patience as I maneuver through this day as spirit and as the divine. And so today I recognize and know the very essence of who I am is patient, understanding, and kind. Today I know fully and completely that as the living spirit of the beloved breathes me in, I know that I have all the patience I require to express myself fully, intentionally, mindfully with absolute consciousness. I am the energy of spirit and so I am the energy of patience. For I know this divine power and presence that is the beginning of time and all time and the end of time for there is nothing and no thing with the beginning and the end. Spirit is all things. And so I know it takes patience to create a universe and so I have all the patience I require to create this glorious day. Patience today is my superpower. I have everything I need within me to be loving and kind, patient and understanding. 
Today, I reveal myself to the world as the light that I am. The storehouse of the divine within me ignites every particle in every part of me. I am animated, articulated, and activated by this divine and wholly powerful presence that is back of life itself. And so I know it is back of my life now. I need do nothing more to bring about patience. I need do nothing more to bring about the goodness of the activity of spirit. I need do nothing more, nothing more to become, nothing more to be. I am everything I need to be. I am spirit unfolding perfectly. And in this truth and in this knowing, I trust with absolute faith This word is the power and presence of the breath of the Holy Spirit, and I need do nothing more but let it be so. And so it is. And so it is. Danny and Chewy agree. (laughs) Ah. Oh, beloveds, what a joy it is to be with you. Thank you so much for sharing in this time of spiritual practice with me, that we engage in this goodness. One of these days, this backdrop is going to be complete. <laughs> we are getting settled. We Tammy did a lot this weekend to prepare this space. Um, and one of these days, maybe I'll even do a tour of our new house. Um, but These are guitars, and they should be out of their cases, don't you think? (laughs) I think they should be out of their cases. But all in good time, because we did treatment for patients today, so all in good time. This is the day that spirit is unfolding perfectly through everything that you are. You are everything that you need to be. You are an absolute miracle. Your magnificence is profound and hearty and bountiful. You are everything that you need to be, right? Yes, Lillian, you made it. You made it, and you get to make this day everything it requires of you. Amen. So let's go out and be the beautiful emanation and reflection of that which we call our higher self, whatever it is, that is that power and presence to you. Let's go use it, love it, be it, express it, and expand it out into the world. Yes, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. So what else we have got going on? This week we have a wake up, say thank you, and this this week. Yes, we do have wake up, say thank you. But on Wednesday, we have deep soul meditation. And this Saturday, it is the last Saturday of the month. So we have a community uh, coffee and connection this Saturday morning. Of course, you can find out all of these details on our website, onelovewakening.com or in our newsletter that comes out via email. If you're not on that, sign up right there, onelovewakening.com. And we will see you back here again tomorrow morning for another Wake Up, Say Thank You with me, Rev Steph, 8 a.m. Pacific Time at 10 a.m. Central. And we will affirm life's good again together right then and there. If you have prayer requests you would like us to cover on Wake Up, Say Thank You, please feel free to make a comment, connect with us on Facebook or our website. Lots of ways to connect with us. So until I see you again. I love you. I bless you. Have a beautiful and wonderful day being exactly who you are called to be. And remember to share the prayer and shine your light. Peace.